Hello, welcome to Western Political Thought, uh, number one, PS223. I am the, the instructor for this course, W. Wesley McDonald. Uh, you may have heard that I had something of a medical emergency earlier uh, this summer, which means that I will be unable to make it to class for the first several weeks of class. As a result, we're going to be doing a, a kind of an experiment here, and that is offering the courses um, on Blackboard uh, virtually with videos. Um, these video clips will be broken up into uh, seven-minute segments. You can watch them at your leisure, but uh, I expect you to keep pace with the, the readings in the course. So you should um, you can watch them whenever you want to. Um, uh, each clip I say lasts no more than seven minutes and then you move on to the next clip and you try to digest as many of them as uh, you are able. The um, clips will parallel what you're doing in the textbook, um, what you're reading in the textbook, and with the um, PowerPoint demonstrations they are a description of the PowerPoint uh, demonstrations. Uh, now, um, I um, expect you to um, um, follow along with these, and um, I will move from page to page and try to explain what we're uh, talking about here. Um, this is a, um, we we'll begin with course expectations. The purpose of Western political thought is to examine some of the greatest minds in the Western civilization from Plato through Marx, uh, but well in this segment it will only be through Plato through the Renaissance, which means uh, Machiavelli. We're going to look at the development of political ideas from uh, uh, the origins of, of political philosophy in ancient Greek uh, through the, the period we call the Renaissance, which occurs in about the 16th uh, century. And we're going to look at the uh, fundamental works of political thinkers and uh, examine them uh, critically. Uh, you will be able to discuss some of these ideas in the blogs, uh, which I'll establish discussion boards for you. And um, then um, we will um, uh, go from, uh, uh, you can debate and discuss and argue about them, and then I'm going to set up some response papers for you to write from time to time. And then you'll have um, written uh, quizzes and um, examination papers. What I hope to do is introduce you to some of the great literature of uh, Western political thought, in addition give you, uh, giving you some insights um, into the nature of politics and uh, helping you to, to think a little differently about politics. Most people have very strong emotional commitments to their beliefs, but rarely sit back, back and, and critically uh, self-analyze um, uh, or, or critically analyze their own opinions and why they hold those opinions. Um, uh, we tend often, because we don't uh, understand our assumptions, to uh, shout past each other. Um, I may not change any minds in this course, but at least I'm hoping that uh, as a result of uh, our discussions, you will better understand and be better able to defend uh, the positions you, that uh, you take and better understand why people take other um, contrary positions to yours. Um, obviously, memorization is not enough in this class. You must actually try to understand the material. Just trying to memorize and repeat back what I say to you uh, won't help much because I'm going to have you apply the, the ideas that we study in this course in, in unique fashion. So I'm interested in whether you are comprehending what we're talking about, not just memorizing dates and names um, uh, and, and bare facts. Uh, the syllabus that I, um, which I will discuss, in a, which is has been discussed in another uh, video clip, um, is your study guide. This class, and um, it will help you um, 
uh, it outlines the course and gives you an idea of what topics we will cover when. I also have a study guide which I have also posted in Blackboard and you can use that to um, go along with the courses with the course and try to answer those questions as you do the readings and listen to the lectures and try to answer those in the blogs and um, to get a, a, it's a it's a way of, of assessing yourself to see um, how well you're doing you can uh, post your answers to those questions on, on the blogs and then try to critically uh, respond to each other's uh, um, attempts uh, in, in the blogs. So look at the syllabus as well as my study guide uh, as um, well both the syllabus and the um, study guide of terms and uh, questions are intended to help prepare you for the examinations I have in class. And then I'm going to give you a, a list of, um, send to you a list of, of uh, response paper topics and I'm going to ask you to choose two of those which you will use to um, uh, uh, you'll choose topics, two topics on different political theorists to um, and then um, when the date comes and when we discuss these ideas in class, you'll submit your um, response papers um, uh, to me and turn it in and I will evaluate them and uh, return them to you with a grade. Okay, this will complete the section number one of the, of the introductory uh, lecture. I will end here and then uh, create another uh, video clip where we deal with these uh, what I call the perennial questions of politics. Bye-bye.